Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our Daily Devotion for today, Monday, May the 17th, comes to us from the Old Testament book of Ezekiel. We're going to be looking at Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 1 to 14. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all round them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. And I will lay sinews on you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves O my people, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. Today we hear from Ezekiel, telling us of God grabbing his attention and thereby changing him. Throughout the Bible, God transformed people through angels, dreams, and or visions. These came for various reasons. To warn, to protect, to guide, or to reveal God's will. Sometimes the coming was to give assurance that God's presence was with them. For example, God came to Mary, frightened, at the empty tomb, and to Daniel in the lion's den. God came long ago and still comes in these various ways. If alert, we'll see him in this way too. Israel had lost their land, and their land had been taken away, devastated and exiled in a foreign land when God spoke to Ezekiel. And in a dream, he saw a pile of dry bones, as hopeless as Israel. And then a miracle happened. Before the eyes of his dream, he witnessed the bones stand, come together with muscle and flesh, being shaped into people alive and walking. New life was happening. Ezekiel was now able to know and believe that God was at work, bringing new life, to his people. 
This believing led him confidently into God's new purpose and mission. And Israel into their becoming once again a united people in their very own land. Let us pray. Loving God, come to me now. Come to all of us in our greatest fear and alert us to our new lives and mission in you. Amen. Grace and peace be with you this day and every day. And I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Take care.